Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate. Good afternoon, I'm Victoria Carmen with your flash briefing. Want to show you one of the top stories on FoxCarolina.com today, and it's up in Asheville. UNC Asheville issued a shelter in place order. It's still in effect right now after receiving a threat. So classes were canceled and even nearby grade schools were placed on a perimeter lockdown just to be safe. We do have a photo of that area right here. You could see on our website at FoxCarolina.com. So this was posted, the initial warning on Facebook around 740 this morning from the campus saying do not come to campus because there was a threat made against the school. Now the university said several offices received an email overnight communicating a direct threat to members of the UNC Asheville community. In that letter it demanded the Black Lives Matter mural on University Heights on campus be painted over employees, other essential personnel, and students, as we told you, were asked to stay away from campus today. Uh, we just received an update within the last hour, and UNC Asheville still says that shelter in place order remains in effect until further notice. They are working with multiple law enforcement agencies to make sure everything is okay. And as that investigation continues, we will bring you the latest right here on air and online. Now let's get a check at the weather today on this Friday. Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent joining us now and as we prepare for uh, Delta to bring some rain this weekend. That's right. And of course, the Gulf Coast states preparing for some big time impacts, mainly the Louisiana coast, as this is going to make landfall very close to where Laura did uh, right near the Texas Louisiana border for Lake Charles, Cameron, Louisiana, going to get a hard hit. Winds at 105 miles per hour this afternoon, and it's going to move inland, becoming a tropical depression in northern Mississippi as we go toward eight o'clock Saturday evening. And then just a remnant area of low pressure as it gets into Kentucky on Sunday evening. We'll experience some of the impacts as we go through the day on Saturday and especially Sunday with some heavier rain possible, two to four inches of rain uh, near the North South Carolina border. But in general, we're all going to get a good soaking and there could be some localized flooding to deal with. So just showers going into late this evening. Off and on rain for Saturday. Most of it will be light, but there could be some pockets of heavier rain. And then the heaviest rain expected on Sunday as the last little bit of the system pushes on through. And then we'll see some clearing for next week. Be sure to check in on the 10 o'clock news tonight as well as throughout the weekend for the latest and also at 4 and 5 today. And download the Fox Carolina News app.